Hey guys, said after my long, long absence to this type of podcast, I'm back. But hopefully, better than ever. With everything going on. But. But. I only just mentioned about the loss of my dad and everything, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the sports. And it's getting kind of problematic because it's nothing but, they're nothing but political now. It's usually I talk about, I don't talk about politics usually because, you know, it's just, I don't see a point. I mean, sure, I watch uh, like C-SPAN and C-SPAN 2 and also listen to C-SPAN radio, but please, guys, but please, it's just. I think it's getting a little problem, not a little problematic, but it's getting a lot problematic with them keeping up with politics. Like, let's see, for the uh, NBA, of course. The NBA. It was enjoyable, and of course I had the greats, like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Cutter Geary. And the rest, and even Larry Bird and Magic Johnson rivalry. But, it's kind of getting political because of, uh, you know, free, their freedom of speech, of course. Was also a slavery speech. Well, you know, not slavery speech, but you gotta out. And they were having a Black Lives Matter and they were kneeling their protest. But only one NBA player. One NBA player just did the national anthem. It placed his hand on his heart. And yes, and he is a believer of Black Lives Matter, but he say that Black Lives Matter and protests don't go hand in hand. And I agree. Well, you know, in my opinion, all lives matter, you know? Whether black, white, Latino, Asian American, or Asian, even Native American, you know? But, like I say, though, but I'm also a believer of the police, you know? But, but if the police does a thing like that, I just, you know... Silent about it. But like I say, I mean, I mean, sure, the bad cops are, you know, they need to be held accountable. But, but we need, you know, a, but, you know, but sure, we need police accountability, but, but, you know, all lives matter, you know? And that's what I say, you know, but it's not just black lives, but it's all lives matter, you know? But I agree with the NBA player. The protests and, of course, black lives matter don't go hand in hand, you know? Just because he did the national anthem. And now that we get to... The NFL. The NFL is getting a lot of political. First off with uh, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick is a... uh, Was a football player back at the 49ers. And during the National Anthem, he kneeled. All the others were doing the, uh, you know... But why? It's because of Trump. And yes, 
Yes, I am not a supporter. It's no secret I don't support Trump. As I never supported Trump because of his dossier. You know, he's a he's a corrupted, not a corrupted as a politician, but corrupt as a human being. It's, you know, cheated the people. And he cheated the taxpayers, you know. All because of his dad. But like I say. And that's what I'm saying. But I am. Like I say. I'm, I'm a never Trumper. You know. Because I am not. But Biden is becoming also. Becoming one of my concerns. You know, since, and even though uh, I like Barack Obama and I'm a George Bush guy, but, but with Colin Kaepernick, you know, it's nearly all because of Trump, which caused Trump to nose in the business of sports. And, you know, again, I'm not a Trump guy. But, but what we need is for everyone to stop kneeling during the national anthem. In which everyone joined in. And that's why it's all politics, you know. And up next is NASCAR. Well, two of the links. Well, I'm a, I am still watch NASCAR, nevertheless. Even if it got political for two r- reasons. One is Bubba Wallace. Because of, the, you know, Black Lives Matter. You know. Because of what happened with George Floyd. But, you know. But again, you know, with Officer Chapman, I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he deserved what he did. I mean, you know, I mean, it's not just George Floyd, but I got the news that he also used excessive force throughout the years, including to a, to a seven-year-old, you know, that is a sickening that Officer Chapman has done. Oh, use an excessive force. I mean, not all officers do it, does that, you know. And all of it, you know. But, but that's not the only politics that it face criticism of the sport. Also, Bill France with endorsing Donald Trump. And of course, like I say, he needs... To stop pro, that's why NASCAR needs to stop promoting politics. You know, no matter if it's a candidate of Republican or Democrat, or you know, or anything, they need to stop promoting politics. You know, and politics needs to stop promoting sports. You know, as it don't go hand in hand. That's right, sports and politics don't go hand in hand. And, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for is the MLB. Everyone, including ones at my job, ignoring the politics and watch the MLB all the way. Well, we, well, unfortunately, we don't, everyone at my job at Dish don't have Fox Sports. Because it's, uh, removed. So no one can have watched the Texas Rangers. But, however, the latest reason of why I mentioned this late when it comes to politics, however, of why it got political, 
Well, because the All-Star Game was going to take place in Atlanta, Georgia. But, I think two reasons. No. Well, okay, so there's two reasons that I got to nitpick about. One is the voting rights removal. I thought it was the stupidest thing they, uh, that Georgia had ever done. And, of course, you know, that's, uh, that's from the late congressman John Lewis, who was one of the civil rights movement, you know, alongside Martin Luther King. And it's just, you know, everything. It's just how it is. But I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't want to vote for Trump. I bet I could vote for another Republican. But Trump is not. I don't want to vote for Trump. I mean, both him and Biden are bad choices. Or were bad choices. And America chose a bad choice. And Trump was a worse choice. And the next one is... The MLB removing the All-Star Game from Atlanta. And that one is the word. That one takes the cake of my uh, problematic. And it's just saying that you can't just remove. You can't remove, Paul, you know, that. I mean, if it's scheduled, I mean, I mean, you got to leave it on the schedule. You got to, I mean, unless it's a COVID pro- protocol reason. But political reason, that's that's the worst decision of all. Removing it from for a political reason, I mate. Mean, I mean, I mean, you could. I mean, if I was promoting a sport, I would move it somewhere for COVID reason. I mean, if it's COVID lockdown, and I would move the game somewhere else where I don't have a COVID lo- lockdown protocol. Which means, I mean, sure, we're uh, almost at the end of the total, and I got my COVID vaccines, both of them, but, but like I say, that was the worst decision that MLB has ever done. Moving the All-Star game somewhere else, all because of politics. You know, for a political reason. Sure, but NHL and the MLS and the soccer and everywhere else has, you know, Black Lives Matter all of it. But, you know, has a Black Lives Matter thing going on. But, you know... And now we are going to get to the UFC. Reason? Well, there's no reason. I mean, sure, they they promoted politics, you know, with conservatism, like, you know, right-wing presidents like Trump and that. But come on, Dana White. I mean, there's other choices of Republicans for 2024. Trump is under investigation. Is under right now under investigation and not not for the uh, January sixth, but like business. However, and the, like I say, Dan and White, and that's why we got in, you know politics. You know, I mean, there's other Republicans to choose. You know. And they need to, you know, stop promoting politics. You know? And you have to say a bit. But, I mean, sure, I'm a Republican. I mean, sure, I may be a Republican, but then why could, could could be political for any other time? I mean, sure, I made a campaign rally, but, you know, that's why he, the UFC, that's why he needs to focus on sports. The UFC... But, but he gets that uh, 
politics for a personal page, you know? With Joe Rogan and all. But, however, however, UFC is, you know, a mixed martial arts. I mean, you know, I mean, there's, there's some people I'm, a, I'm familiar with and some people I'm a fan of. And Ronda Rousey is not one of them. Jada Carano, if she would have made the UFC debut, you know, breaking down barriers, then, you know, I would be a fan of hers, you know, like her acting. Which you can find in another, uh, in another podcast app, Anchor FM, where I talk about her and, of course, the issues going on with her firing. With her uh, firing from Lucasfilm. But this one I'm going to say, you know. That's why we need sports to stop pushing for political reasons. No matter if it's left wing or right wing. Politics does not belong in sports. Period. Alright guys. That's going to do about it for uh, sports sports. This is my first time talking about politics. And you know, I can say that politics was, I'm not much of a political guy, but this is my first time talking about politics. And and that's why they should, you know, never be together. Alright guys, that's good about it. I'll see you guys next time or wherever. Five, 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 win, 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 and of course, get out of politics.